despite the fact that Thanos is no longer a factor in the MCU, we can still quite obviously tell that the character has had a huge impact on everything. And we recently found out directly from Marvel Studios and Disney that what Thanos did will still have huge impact on the heroes in the third film. So this comes at us officially from Disney, who released the actual plot synopsis, a quick one at that, for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now again, this isn't anything that's going to tell you the entire plot. It's one small part of the bigger picture here, but it's very important because it tells you that, yeah, despite them saying we're moving past Thanos, past the blip, the decimation and all that, you're still going to feel his effects on everything. And I think some small parts of the MCU have done a better job at feeling those ramifications and what he did than others, because other projects seem to have like forgotten it and it's almost never brought up. For example, She-Hulk. Like, you wouldn't know that anything with Thanos happened that half the population suddenly disappeared. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier built on top of it. So again, there's two sides to this. But when they talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, in their press release and what they sent out, they talk about how the Guardians officially acquired Nowhere and how they're actively working on repairing it and have been working on repairing it due to the extensive damage that was caused by Thanos. Now, this is where things get interesting. They say that the Guardians do this because Nowhere is now not just their headquarters, but it's also a Thanos refuge and safe haven. And they have built this as a refugee displacement camp due to all the displaced lives and the impact that Thanos had on so many species that were left either almost destroyed, some of them completely started to die off, and then when the rest of the population came back, their homes were no longer there. Various things happened, time moved. They have nowhere where they feel like they belong. Nowhere is a place for them, just like it's a place for Guardians. It's a place for those that feel like they don't belong anywhere, that are seeking their own family. All these misfits, all these people that are not necessarily wanted anywhere else, or can't go anywhere else, can find refuge and be refugees in nowhere, because the Guardians will protect you. So what Thanos did to you, don't worry about it, this is your new home. Now, in a weird way, and we saw this in the holiday special, everybody seems to be almost like friends with all the Guardians, right? It wouldn't honestly surprise me if by the end of the film, we see them all sort of come together and even help the Guardians in the final act. Because look at how far they've come. And there's no way that they're also not going to take on more refugees at the end. I mean, look at Counter-Earth. They're probably all going to be in some way, shape, or form looking for a new life. Earth 2 is probably going to get destroyed, or Counter-Earth is probably going to get destroyed. So, like, there's a lot going on, and I think it's a very important piece of info to have there to know why exactly Nowhere is what it is now and what they're shaping it up to be.